We're going to graph this transformation of the exponential function y equals e to the x. So that'll be my first step, y equals e to the x. I'm going to use my useful x's, negative 1, 0, and 1. e to the negative 1, 1 over e, e to the 0 is 1, e to the 1 is e. My horizontal asymptote is y equals 0, so currently it looks kind of like this. Very crude sketch. The first step, I'm going to go in order of operation order, is e to the x minus 3. That's going to make me add 3 to the x's. So negative 1 plus 3, 0 plus 3, 1 plus 3, don't change my y's. My asymptotes of y, so I don't change that. My next step is to do this function. And what is this doing? It's multiplying my old y times negative 2. So this time, I don't change the x's, and I multiply the old y's by negative 2. So I get negative 2 over e, negative 2, and negative 2e. I'm multiplying my y's by negative 2, but 0 times negative 2 is still 0, so my asymptote is still y equals 0. And finally, I'm ready to do the whole thing. So that's going to make me go up 4, so I'm going to add 4 to the y. So I'm going to take my points. x isn't changing this time. I'm going to add 4. So it's going to be minus 2 over e plus 4, negative 2 plus 4, and negative 2e plus 4. So we're adding 4 to the asymptote, so we'll get y equals 4, and we're ready to graph. I've got my asymptote y equals 4 drawn in. I'll put my points on 2. Negative 2 over e plus 4, it's about right here. 3, 2. You have wondering where, where do you put negative 2 over e plus 4? If you remember that e is close to 2.7, that can help you guesstimate, or you can plug that into your calculator and come up with a decimal value. But we like to see exact coordinates of points. 4, negative 2e plus 4 is about right down here. And then I draw a smooth, continuous curve that connects them all. Yours will be prettier. It's hard to draw on a computer screen. My domain is all reals. My range is y is less than 4. And we're done. The domain of our function is all reals. Some students think it's not going to use all the x's. It just takes a long time to get over there because it's going up so quickly as you go to the right. The range, you can see that asymptote is a boundary, so it's y greater than negative 2. And we're done.